Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a declutter of this vanity. I got this from Ikea. It has two drawers. I really do love it. I've had it for many years, but it is time to organize it. I think this is the most full it's ever been. It's so full that when I'm getting ready, I can barely close them. I have to like move things around in a really tricky way just to be able to shut it which means it's way too full. I have way too much stuff in here. And these two drawers are meant to be drawers that I keep my everyday makeup stuff in. So there's there's no need for them to be that full. I'm not wearing any makeup today because I did get a facial yesterday. So I'm just trying to let my skin breathe. I have like a few little bumps here and there. I got some extractions done. I got a detox mask. It was freaking amazing and wonderful. I hadn't gotten a facial in two months, so it was definitely really needed. But she's awesome. My esthetician's amazing. I am going to link the video down below as soon as it's up on my vlog channel. I filmed it for Vlogmas, which we are doing, by the way. If you guys aren't following us on my vlog channel, definitely go check it out. I'm uploading every day till Christmas. So I have a lot of girls in my family. I have three, almost said four, three sisters, a sister-in-law, and my stepmom also loves makeup and hair stuff. So what I'm gonna do is create boxes for each of the girls in my family and I'm going to send them as a gift for Christmas. So what I'm gonna include in each of their boxes are new stuff but then also stuff that's been like kind of lightly used by me that they won't mind. Obviously they're my sisters, they don't care. They're like cool with anything. But I'm gonna give that to them since I know that they'll be able to use it more than me. You know, I have so much stuff in here from PR, but then also from stuff that I buy myself that is just overwhelming and I can't possibly use it all. So I figured this would be a really good idea to just give it away to them. So I'm not gonna be throwing this away, all the things that I'm saying no to and not keeping, they'll be going to my family. We're just gonna do this vlog style. Hopefully you guys don't mind. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like before. I'm gonna take you deep into my drawers so you can see how embarrassing this is but yeah it just it really builds up so fast that I have to do this very often one reason why I'm really happy to be doing this is because what happens is some of my favorite things to use end up getting buried deep down in there and I totally forget about them because new stuff is always coming in and I want to rediscover some stuff today so yep so I have two type of dividers. I believe I got these from Walmart. These two are a lot bigger with no dividers so that I can fit bigger products like foundations and primers and things like that. And these with the dividers are nice for smaller things, you know, like bronzers and highlighters. So this drawer is all of my face products. And this drawer is all of my lip and eye stuff and brows. <laughs> Clearly, we have a lot of brow stuff. We're gonna start with the brow drawer first. This is the Maybelline Tattoo Studio. I have used it once and I did not like it, so I'm gonna pass on that. The NYX Wonder Pencil, I actually really enjoy using this for the waterline or to clean up my eyebrows, so I'm gonna keep that. Hell yes to this, Anastasia Brow Gel. I use it every single day. Goof Proof Brow Pencil, I love these. They're my favorite. I fill my brows in with these every day. This is number three. Also keeping the Precisely My Brow Pencil in number four. I like to use this on the outer corners. Another everyday thing, the Gimme Brow from Benefit in number six. I'll use this on the outer corners of my brow to set it. And then the Anastasia one on the inner corners to set the inner corners. So I'm not keeping this because it's way too light and also the shade is very like brown and my eyebrows are very black and more on the taupe side. So I'm gonna give this to one of my sisters that I think their brows will match this a little better. Probably like my sister Brooke, she has a lot lighter skin and lighter hair than me. I do really like the Cabral too. Sometimes I'll use that in place of the number three Goof Proof. Also number three, so I'm gonna keep that. Yes to this, I love this in Double Life from Urban Decay. I use this in the waterline a lot when I'm doing smoky eyes keeping that but gonna put it over here instead. You know, I'm not really a fan of this Too Faced Chocolate Brownie brow pencil. I feel like it's very dry and it just doesn't spread over the eye as easily as the Goof Proof does, so I'm gonna not keep that. Always a good staple cream eyeliner from Elf in Black. Love this baby right here. This is like a ride or die product. 
This is the Makeup Forever Brow Gel. I used to like this one more than Anastasia, but you know what? I think I like Anastasia better right now. So I am going to probably put this in my Alex drawer for another time. Wow, I'm doing a terrible job. I don't know if I like these or not. I just haven't gotten a chance to try them out enough. It's the CoverGirl Brow. I have lots of like Laura Mercier powder on these. I wanted to try this out thinking that it would be, you know, like a dupe for the Benefit one. So I am going to keep it. I'm going to keep this in number four as well from Benefit. Giving this away number two. I think I'm going to keep this actually from Chella. It's the eyebrow defining gel for when my Anastasia one runs out. The Chella Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Cream. This is really good. So I'm going to keep that too. Forgot about these two. It's the Maybelline Total Temptation in Soft Brown 305. I'm going to keep that. I really like this Catrice Brow Pencil, but I lost the cap and so now it's all dried out. So I'm going to have to throw this guy away. High Brow from Benefit. I never use it, so I'm going to pass. I much prefer concealer under my brow bone. This one's good from Ofra Cosmetics. It's the Waterproof Eyebrow Gel, but... You know, it, it is not my shade at all. Like, I definitely need something more taupe. I have no idea what this is. Passing. I was looking for these for 20 years. <laughs> I'm so happy I found them. Milani Stay Put Brow Pomade. I don't think this is my right shade. It's in brunette, so I'm going to pass on this. My sister will love this. My sister would love these. Ooh, look at that. What do you know? I found all these little caps for my benefit stuff. I'm going to keep this one from e.l.f. This is in taupe. Okay, let's put everything back. Okay, so those are the ones that I'm keeping for now. Um, I think I'm, I'm okay with that. Yeah. All right, we got Roach. Love it. Keeping it. Oh, I think I'm going to pass on this just because I think the e.l.f. one is the best that there ever was. So uh, maybe, maybe, okay, I'll put it in my aux drawer. We'll give it a try some other time, but like e.l.f. is my one true love for eyeliners. We got Precision, no, Perversion from Urban K, keeping that. Putting this in the Alex drawer, Rockstar, that's not an everyday shade for me. You know what, I think I'm over liquid liners at the moment, especially for everyday. So I'm going to put these in my Alex drawer. I just never use them, it's just taking up way too much room. I'll keep this in my Alex drawer too. What is this random green NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil? Keep it in the Alex drawer. It's good for holiday look, probably. Alex drawer. Oh, this is a good one, actually. It's from the Gigi Hadid Maybelline collection. It's a gel eyeliner in a really beautiful nude shade. I like to use this in my waterline sometimes. It's kind of like the NYX one. Very similar. Ooh. Keeping this one out. A Skeeto liner. No, no. Shade. Give me shade. All right, giving this one away. This is another brow pencil from CoverGirl. It's in like a blonde shade. Yes, keeping. Okay, gonna put this in my Alex drawer. This is from CoverGirl. It's the Lasting Drama. But I don't use one that white. I much prefer like a peachy nude. This is so good from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm gonna keep this out just in case I do decide to do a liquid liner because I really like this one. It's the Feline Flick. Ooh. See. We got the Maybelline Precision Ink. I'll give that away. My sister loves Maybelline. We also got a Wet n Wild liner, which I'm going to keep. I like this one. We got a Smashbox Always On Gel liner in Fishnets. This is a black. Yeah, I'm going to keep this. No to these two. Oh, this one's good too from Cover FX. I forgot about this guy. I'm going to keep this out. It's the Perfect Pencil in Light, G Light. Oh, Star looks pro. I love this. Gotta keep it, but not not in this drawer. Flower Beauty. What do we have here? Ooh, that's pretty. Keeping that. It's in bronzed out. It's a glossy gel liner. Catrice Liquid Metal Gel Eye Pencil. This one's so good. I'll keep this out. All right, so that's my eyeliner drawer now. I feel like I still even have too much in there. Um, let's see. I think I have too many blacks. Um, okay, screw it. I'm just going to leave them all. <laughs> okay, eyeliner drawer's done. Back here, I, like, really have nothing. It's just kind of, like, sharpeners and these little, like, razors that I like to use for the mustache and the eyebrows. 
This is from um, Smashbox. I really do like this. It's the liquid eyeliner in black. But uh, I'll keep this in my Alex drawer as well as this too from Urban Decay Black Market. I just have too, too many blacks right now. Okay, so moving on now to my mascaras. This is one of my most used ever from Flower Beauty. It's in brown. It's like my favorite to use for everyday eyelashes, so I'm keeping that out. We got the Superhero It Cosmetics Mascara that I feel like I have like so many of these, so I'm gonna go ahead and give this away. It is a great mascara, but yeah, I have too many. Let's see, this is the Honest Beauty Mascara. This one's great for the lower lashes, but I'm currently using a different one, so I'm gonna go ahead and give this away. I do have a backup of this too, so giving that to my sisters. Love this from Too Faced, the Better Than Sex Mascara. It is so good. It really does build those lashes up so much. I love this packaging too with the little diamonds. It's so cute. This is actually surprisingly good. We'll, we'll stick with this. Um, L'Oreal Voluminous Miss Manga. I mean, I think this one's good. It's just kind of like old. I love this. I'm almost done with it. It's from Bubble Tea. It's a macaroon lip balm. So cute. Like, look at that keeping that. This is supposed to be my lip drawer. <laughs> the Kiss Lash Adhesive, my favorite at the moment eyelash curler from Shuimura. Keeping both of these. This is from Wet n Wild. It's the perfect pout lip scrub. I'm going to keep this out. Sometimes I like to use it if my lips are like really needing some exfoliation, but I'm going to keep it in my bathroom, not in here. I like this, but it's just not the right color. I have another one that's in clear. This is from Makeup Forever Ultra HD. Zero one, so you guys can see it's like just too dark. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one away. This is the strip lash adhesive that you like brush on. I don't know what is up with this formula, but it's like terrible. It never works. My lashes always pop off. So I'm actually gonna throw this away because I don't even want to give this to my sisters. They're gonna hate it. <laughs> Love these. Oh my gosh, gotta link them below from Amazon. They're amazing, but I'm gonna keep them over there. We have the Mac 3D lash. I haven't gotten to try it, so I'm gonna keep it out giving this away. Ooh, I remember these. The Cosmetic Je ne sais quoi. Ooh, I'm gonna keep this out. Actually, I'm gonna put this in my purse. Ooh, I love these. I always lose them, so I keep them. And some more tweezers. Awesome. I think this is the Agave lip thing. It's like little samples, so I'll keep these. And that's disgusting. We need to clean that out. Oh, I don't like these little tweezers. I'm gonna throw those out. Okay, so I realize this video is gonna be insanely long. I'm just using a Clorox wipe here. So I'm going to split this into two. We'll do one drawer and we'll call it like eyes and lips and then part two face. Face? Yeah. <laughs> face. Part two face. Wow, look at that. I cleaned, I cleaned that one out good. Okay. Love this from Revlon. Keeping it. I use this every day on my lashes. Smashbox super fan keeping it. This one's good too from CoverGirl. It's the Lash Blast. Never reach for this. I don't know why. I think I used it once and it smeared all over me. Maybe it's just my lashes. So I'm going to go ahead and give this away. The Man Eater from Tarte. I feel like I never use this. I think it's the wand. I think it's the wand that I'm just not really like into. I'm going to give this away. I'm giving this away. Never use it. Rimmel Scandalize. Love this from CoverGirl. It's a primer. It's like a drugstore dupe of the Lancome Definicils. So keeping both of those. I don't know why I never picked this up. I really, I think I'm going to try it maybe a few more times. Everyone loves this, but it's just not wowing me. This is just an extra, so I'm going to give this away. Love Charlotte Tilbury. Oh my gosh, this is such a great mascara. Keeping it out. I forgot about this. This is such a good one for lower lashes, so I'll keep that. Also good for lower lashes, Rimmel Lash Accelerator. Keep that. I never use this. Giving it away. Giving away. Giving away. And, um, oh my gosh, I forgot about this guy. We'll keep this. This one's good. That's a lot of mascaras, but... At least, you know, they all fit in one little section now. I just have 
like extra razors and sharpeners and another little pocket knife thing. So we'll just leave that there and move on to the lips. Wow, this is overwhelming. Clearly I like pink and nude. Love over cosmetics, but I just never use the shade as an everyday one. It's Americano, so I'm going to keep it in my Alex drawer. Ooh, oh, I like that. Okay, we'll keep this out. This is a buxom, buxom, damn it, I don't know how to say it. Full on lip polish in Bellini. Keeping it. Oh my gosh, use this basically every day from Laura Mercier. It's in the shade Opal. I love these so much. You guys really have to try them. They're just as good as the Buxom lip polishes. Also use this a lot in Sandy. I, I really like this one from Too Faced. It's in Grin and Bear It, Tempting Toffee from CoverGirl. Keeping, giving away. I give away the brands I'm not really like familiar with just because, I don't know. I mean, clearly I have an issue right here. This is too much. I love this shade. It's beautiful, stunning. It's called Pearl Red, and this formula is amazing from Pixie. So I'm keeping it, just not in here. Dose of Colors, Lazy Daisy. Uh, I'll keep it out. We'll keep trying it. Such a good one from Lip Fusion Infatuation Gloss in In the Flesh. Great nude. Okay, what is this? Um, I'll keep this, but not here. <laughs> not here. Okay, these, these always have a place in my heart. I'm keeping them all, every single one that I find in here. Almost every one that I find in here. They're the Too Faced, oh gosh, what are they called? So creamy. I keep all of the nude and pink shades out. This is Nip Slip and Skinny Dippin', my two most used. I do really like this one, so I'm gonna keep it out. Manila, which is where Matt's mom is from. That's from Ofra Cosmetics. Love this as a lip liner. I think this is in... It's either Hush Hush or, I can't read it anymore, but these are all good too from Buxom, the lip pencils. This is a great formula as well from Rimmel. Sorry, everything has Laura Mercier powder on it. It's in the shade Firestarter. Keeping it, just not here. I'm gonna keep this from Neutrogena. It's just like a lip moisturizer, but I'm gonna put it over here. I'll keep this too from Too Faced in Dreamsicle. I love all of these forever. Forever. Look, I got two hush hushes. I'll give one away because I don't need two. So good. This is like a drugstore dupe for the Buxom ones. Catrice Volumizing Lip Booster. Ooh, this is a pretty shade. I forgot about this. Laura Mercier Baby Doll. Um, like, I, like I said, I really love these, but these two in particular are just too dark for every day. Ooh, this is a great one. This was a gift like the Sephora gift. It's NARS Cruella Velvet Matte Lip, Lip Pencil. Love it, but not here. Ooh, look how pretty that is. This is in Celeste, keeping it. And this is looking a little too dark for every day, but it's called Comfort Matte from Urban Decay. I'll pass on that. We got a lot of lip liners. I like this one from ColourPop. I've been wondering where the heck it was. It's in Taurus, keeping it. These Makeup Forever lip pencils are absolutely amazing. They last forever. I think I like I like the Buxom ones the most, but these are definitely like number two for me. So I'm gonna keep these two out. I have it in 13 and 11. Oh, I forgot about the Gerard Cosmetics lip pencils. They're so good too. I don't use this shade though. It's in Ecstasy. It's a little too purple for me. So I'm gonna keep it, but just like put it in Alex drawer. Oh yes. Another Taurus. This is a good one too. Number 22 from Makeup Forever. Ow, what happened? This is just too much. Oh, this looks pretty. I'm gonna give this a try. I didn't realize I had it. It's in Cosmic. This is actually a great lipstick from number seven in the shade Honey Bloom, keeping it out. Great every day. Keeping but too red for me, number 41. I mean, for every day, you know. Oh my gosh, these are freaking stunning. I'm gonna keep it, but just put it in the Alex drawer. I'll keep this one out. Samantha, definitely a most used for me. Show me your coconuts from Too Faced. Keeping, passing on that. Let's see, what shade is this? I don't know, but we're keeping it. We like it. Mauve. 
Ooh, I like that. Ofra Cosmetics Mauve Lip Pencil. I'll keep these two as well. This is the more like nude one called Stealth. Also like this guy in birthday suit from Too Faced. Oh my gosh. I've been looking for this forever. Yes, putting this in the other drawer. Another Catrice that I've been trying to find. I don't know the shade of this either, but it's great. Keeping, but Alex drawer. Okay, I tried. I do really love this from Pretty Vulgar. It's a very beautiful shade. I feel like it's just a little bit much for every day though. It's just kind of more like metallic. A little too dark. This is Pout About It. Mm, yeah, too dark. Oh my gosh, these Juicy Tubes are amazing. I forgot about them. <laughs> uh, I'll keep it out. Ooh, Strip Search. I haven't seen this guy in a while, keeping that out. This is really good too from Juice Beauty. It's in Fig. These shades are at the bottom, so I'm guessing I never use them, so <laughs> we'll put them in the Alex drawer. I actually have never cleared out, oh, I'll give that away. I've never cleared out um, the lips before. I always just keep throwing shit in here and then it's just way too overwhelming. Uh, maybe we could do like a lip liner drawer and then a lipstick slash gloss drawer. That's what I'm hoping for. Okay, we got 12 minutes left to film this set. Oh, this is so cute. Let me get rid of this stuff. I'm gonna give these away, Shuey Mora and Lancome just because this is my current favorite. So we'll give those away. Oh, I forgot about this. So good. Elf Modern Metals in no idea what that shade is. Also, like this one from Elf in Rose Quartz. Keeping... Oh, this is kind of different. It's like a... Here, I'll show you. I don't know what you would call it, but how do you turn it on? Oh, yeah. Gets rid of the hair on your face. I don't know how this thing exactly works, but it works. <laughs> so I use it for like in between my eyebrows or mustache area. So I'll keep it there. I really don't like this. I feel like I never use it. It's from Sephora, the Sapphire Beauty Blender. I don't know what it is about it. It just like does not work well on me. So I'm gonna give this away. Love this guy. He needs to be cleaned from e.l.f., the highlighting sponge. So I'll keep that. Ooh, we got a beautiful Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. I think this is Pillow Talk. Yeah, keeping stunning. Don't know why that's in there. Oh, I got these new lip products from Shuey Mora but they're just like really, really red. So I'll keep them for the holidays, but put them somewhere else. Random eyelashes, of course. I do not use this. I bought this, I thought I would use it, and I don't. It's from Kat Von D. It's in the shade Brown Arrow, so I'm gonna give this away. And this cute thing, I mean, I don't even know what to do with it. Like, I don't even wanna use it for powder because it's so freaking cute. I just keep it in here, because I love, I love it. It's fluffy and tiny. Okay, look at that. Look at this. This gets so nasty because I touch it with my makeup fingers. We got Dosa Colors, bear with me. Let me keep it. Ooh, yes, Smashbox, always on liquid lipstick in Gotta Light. Keeping, I'll keep this in Dubai, it's a good nude. Oh my gosh, I love this. I already have it. I'll put it in my Alex drawer. That was Sandy. This is Bear Baby from Laura Mercier. Ooh, these are so good from Makeup Forever. I love them. This is 101. Alex drawer. This is code red. I think I really like this a lot. BH Cosmetics in Earth. So I'll keep that. Alex drawer. I'm gonna keep this one though, 230 because it's like a really pretty nude. Too dark, Alex drawer. Really, really did not like this from Tarte. It's the lip paint. I feel like nothing comes out at all. Like I have to dip this in 20 times just to get even like the littlest bit of product on my lips and the color is just not my favorite. I think I got it in a boxy charm, so I'm giving that away. Alex drawer for these two. Dried Cosmetics Lip Pencil in Mudslide and Red Brick Road. They're very beautiful though. What's going on here? No. Alex drawer. Mm, Alex drawer. Oh, okay. Don't die on me, guys. Come on. We're almost there. <laughs> this is so old from Mac. I gotta throw it out. It like does not even work anymore. It's an oak. Alex drawer. Makeup geek. 
I like that. Ooh, I've been looking for this. Charlotte Tilbury. This is in pillow talk, keeping. Incognito. I'll keep that from Buxom. Extra. Oh, I could do that. We got monogamous. These are so cute. But the Malik drawer from Smashbox. Those are like limited edition. One of my most favorite lipsticks ever from MAC Cosmetics in I Love Winter. It's so old though. I'm pretty sure this is way expired. So I think I'm going to have to throw it out. Ugh, this is like three, four years old, I think. Jazzy from Joseph Colors. Capen. Ooh, these from CoverGirl are really good. Exhib Exhibitionist lip liner in the nude keeping what is this mm, oh i like this this is bare blush from laura keeping oh yeah yeah that's a nice one fair game from smashbox hue from mac alex drawer alex drawer alex drawer alex drawer <laughs> Oh, we got some Makeup Forevers here. Mmm, I can do that one. We got C107. MAC Velvet Teddy. Oh, you know, girl. That is the one. Bite Beauty and Chai. I'll keep it out. He's little and cute. It looks like a nice color. Two Plum Purple for me. That was overexposed, but I'm going to keep it because I love those. Alex drawer, Alex drawer. No. Why do I have some of these in here? Oh my god, did you see that? Why is that there? I'm trying to like this. I'm really trying to like it. NYX Soft Cream in Stockholm. I just feel like I have things that are better, so I'm going to give it away. Oh yes, 109. Makeup Forever. I like this too from Makeup Geek in Waltz. Oh, I like this too. Verona from Ofra. Um, I'll keep this. 435, I'll try it. From CoverGirl. Oh, that's beautiful. M101. Makeup Forever 107. And lastly, C104 from Makeup Forever. I like that because it's like a really light, light shade to put in the center of your lips. Okay, so those are all my lip liners now. There we go. Wow, did I even do anything? Did I even do anything is the question. And now I can finally wait. So I'm thinking what I'm gonna do. <laughs> oh God, there's two. There's still too much lip products here. <sighs> I gotta, I gotta narrow it down more. This is too, too many. Mm. And I think I'm okay with that. All right, there it is. So now I can close this drawer nicely. So that definitely took a lot longer than I was expecting. So what I am going to do is go ahead and upload this first and go through my other drawer another day. But I definitely made great progress and I'm really happy with this drawer now. I can actually close it. Love everything in here. Definitely good everyday stuff that I can actually use. And then back over here is all the things from this drawer that I'm going to be giving away. I can finally close it. So I think that is all I'm gonna do today, guys, because this took me a lot longer than I thought. And I am honestly getting really tired of doing this. <laughs> so I'm going to give myself a break. And you guys a break since this was probably a long video. It's nothing you can really cut out, you know? So I'm going to go ahead and upload this. And then I will get back to you guys with my other drawer. 
in a few days but it definitely needs to happen at some point so hopefully this inspired you guys to declutter as well because you know with a lot of the stuff that you don't use you can donate it you can give it to your family your friends give it to somebody else who can use it you don't need to hoard it in your desk like me especially since the holidays are here you know it's definitely a perfect time to give somebody a gift like makeup makeup is amazing everybody every girl pretty much every girl loves makeup it's a great gift idea so anyway i wanted to say thank you to you guys for watching this hopefully you liked it if you did please leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel let me know what else you guys want to see and yeah it's gonna be it thanks for watching bye